My name is Ernest Siva. I'm uh, here at uh, in Banning. We're next uh, to the Morongo Indian Reservation. That's where I was born. A Morongo is a, is a word that uh, is from the Serrano language, which means Maringa, Maringa Yam, which are the speakers of uh, the Morongo language. My family is. Uh, 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 mother's side uh, are the Morongo people. We use the term Morongo today uh, to mean the tribal affiliation, whereas um, uh, usually the uh, terms Serrano, uh, Kauia, Lasang, and so forth are the are the tri tribal names. Um, my father's people were the uh, Kauia, Mountain Kauia. And that's where the name Siva comes from. Siva means spring. I um, grew up uh, learning the Serrano language because our, my grandfather, my mother's father, uh, spoke uh, that language to them in, in the household. And uh, I had two aunts who were very close. And so we, um, I heard the Serrano language uh, most of my life. One of our uh, stories is uh, when I was, as I recall, one family would uh, have lunches, sandwiches made of uh, venison, and the rest of us would have peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you know, so some uh, took advantage and of the of that situation, and that was true uh, in growing up about what the, uh, how we lived. My great uh, grandfather uh, Francisco Morongo was a Kika, which is the chief, you know, the keeper of the house. He was a coyote moiety. Francisco, being the, to me, the last Kika uh, traditional of, of of our people, um, realized that he was the last, and he told the people, "Yeah, I, I have my songs." I, I don't need to learn English or Spanish or any language. Uh, he spoke all, several dialects of other and other uh, Indian languages, and he said, "I'm, I'll go home. You know, I'm, I'm fine." He said, "But you who are growing up, who are going to have your families, um, are going to have to uh, change. You have to decide, make a decision, to follow." Uh, as much as you can our way, but you know that we can't practice our religion anymore. We won't have the house, and uh, we won't have the kika or the paha. And he was telling them that they have to change and follow the new way, what he was giving them a pep talk for. He said, but you, when you follow this new way, you have to do it wholeheartedly. You can't just do it halfway. He said, you, otherwise you'll, but you ha you'll be drifters. You won't have full understanding. You won't be totally Americanized. He said, you'll have shallow roots because you'll be lost. He said, but if you follow it and learn, you'll be successful. He said, but whatever you do, never forget your language. He said, that, that's the main thing. And never forget where you came from. <laughs>